Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. It's the 6th of November, <coughs> excuse me, 2022. And this is a quick follow-up for or from the previous video on using MidJourney. Uh, ostensibly, this is a tutorial for those of you who are creating uh, NFTs and giving uh, access to a, a, your content, your community, uh, building an audience, building a brand, etc., uh, using art, uh, and in this case, you know, art that's generated via AI. Uh, but this really doesn't have to be a business thing. This can be, uh, you know, simply a fun thing that you're doing, a creative thing that you're doing. Uh, I'm sure most of the folks in this group here. You know, I'm about to show you how this works, but uh, are, are probably not doing this for business purposes. They may be doing it for their own creative purposes. My interest, my goal, uh, as you know, most folks, I think, who are watching my content or, or who are part of our you know course community are interested in the business side of this, but it doesn't have to be that. So let's really quickly, uh, I'll show you again in the, in the last uh, video, I showed you guys how to uh, actually take existing art that you have saved, right? So this is the art that I've created for our mindfulness-based uh, book series uh, for kids and for teens, mental health, etc. And essentially what we did, we, we opened one of these images in Discord, uh, and then we just iterated on this image and, you know, created new images, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that are part of this collection. But here i'm going to actually show you how to just do it from scratch so no we're not opening an existing file or working with an existing uh, piece of art that we pre previously created uh, in this case we're just going to start from scratch so this is the process you go to imagine prompt and then you type in whatever it is that you want to uh you know conjure in this uh ai generative art sort of you know style right so uh, you know, lots of our contents meditation related. So I'm going to on the fly right now, extemporaneously, uh, try to think of a text prompt that will be fun to create a colorful psychedelic, uh, you know, meditation style image. Cause that's the sort of, you know, the, 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 you know, the brand sort of flavor that we're going uh, for here. All right. So let's say, man, meditating, colorful, All right, I'm just making this up on a Sunday, not caffeinated enough, not fully awake yet. I'm going to tra I'm going to change this to All right, hippie woman meditating, colorful, cartoonish, satire, exaggerated features, hippie, dippy, psychedelic with oversized eyes and a large head in the style of Banksy. All right, let's see what that gives us. And this is probably not going to be great. It's the first root version. So if you go back and look at these, I mean, these were all iterations on an original image that, you know, just kept on being refined and for the specific, you know, target uh, goals of my particular project, right? So, I mean, you may not find these very interesting, but for our kids related content, teens related meditative content, this is the sort of look and feel that I was going for. And, you know, this actually... Um, you know, captures this really, really well. So you can see so far, I'm mean, going to tell you all, already, I don't love the, you know, these images, <clears throat> but, um, you know, I'm going to see if I can find one of these that's worth iterating on. So let's see. So it's done, right? So there's the four images that 
were given to start with. And nah, I don't really love any of these. I don't know that actually any of these I would really want to build on. So I'm, I, I would probably discard that, um, you know, this particular set of prompts. Now, you have to remember as well that when I'm doing this generally, I'm really thinking through with a lot of care and consideration the actual prompt that I'm using prior to actually, you know, plugging it into, uh, you know, mid journey, right? So into the mid journey discord generator. Um, you know, in this case, I just made it up on the fly again on half awake. I'm sure you can hear that. Haven't had enough coffee yet. Uh, and I, I, you know, there's no planning involved. Generally, you know, I'll take a much more careful, a uh, considered approach to the actual text prompt. Uh, and, you know, it, it really makes a significant difference. I find in the output of the, you know, the images that you're getting when you just kind of throw in randomly, you know, just, uh, you know, phrases like this, you get sort of shitty art like this, right? But if you actually think it through and, um, you know, really be methodical with respect to what you're actually trying to generate, it can, or what you're trying to create, it can be really, really uh, transformative. And I've had some, I mean, some of the art that we've created using this, you know, again, you can see some of the, the uh, Dia de los Muertos art um, that's really been quite good. I mean, some of it's been quite popular. We had a whole NFT series on, on this. Um, you know, each of these has been individually named and, you know, look, we've created these little characters, et cetera, et cetera, around each face. I mean, you can do all of this pretty much um, for free, you know, using something like Midjourney. I pay for Midjourney. Uh, you don't have to, but it's not expensive and it really makes a huge difference in terms of the quantity of uh, art you can create. And of course, you know, what we're going to do with all this is turn all of this into uh, all of these into NFTs, uh, tokens, and then use those tokens to gate content and restrict access to our community 